Hello and welcome to The Power of Podcasting, and today we have a very special episode. Recently, I just ran a five-day Get Started Podcasting Challenge, and uh, we had some great results from all the people who participated, including several who were able to record their very first podcast episode. So I actually wanted to release it here for you, all of the podcast listeners out there, and actually help you go through this challenge and get started with your very own podcast. Now, if you want to get all of the, the worksheets that go with each day of the challenge uh, to, and to actually go through the challenge, all five videos in order, in sequence, then simply head on over to podcastingchallenge.com where you can sign up and go through the challenge, including getting all of those resources. But in today's episode, we're going to actually do dive into some of that training from the challenge. So good luck with the challenge, and hopefully I get to hear from you about your amazing results. Let's dive on in. Hello and welcome to day two of the podcasting challenge. Hopefully after day one, you now have that solid foundation to really build on and really grow your podcast and grow your business from. On day two here, we're gonna talk all about setting up your recording studio. It seems almost always the first question that people ask me when, they're, when we're talking about podcasting and they wanna get started is, what equipment do I need? So we're gonna knock that out here in the second day of the challenge and f help you decide on what is what actually needs to be in your studio. And when we're talking studio, I don't necessarily mean that you need a dedicated spot in your house, you know, an extra room or a garage out back to actually do your recording. I just simply mean planning ahead and figuring out how you're gonna record a podcast. Because equipment challenges and just, just that hesitation feeling, that unsure feeling of not necessarily knowing where you're gonna record or how, you, how to record can oftentimes hold people back and I don't want it to keep you from moving forward. So we're gonna run through a few different aspects of the setting up your recording studio. We're gonna talk about what it's gonna look like if you wanna do just audio recording, if you wanna do video recording, and as well, we're gonna talk about if you wanna do mobile podcast recording, if you wanna be out on the road traveling and just have easy access, we're gonna talk about those three categories. We're also gonna cover if you want a free or basically free way to record, if you want the basic kind of setup or if you want a premium setup. So we're gonna kind of give you a little grid. I'm gonna go through several different pieces of equipment. It can be super easy to get overwhelmed by just thinking about all the different podcasting equipment out there. Uh, this is just a quick snapshot of a few of the pieces I had lying around here within my office. We also, I also have several more out in a little storage area that is across the hall, um, but they're, uh, it can be quick, you can quickly get overwhelmed with it. And I wanna make sure that this doesn't have that overwhelming feeling. We wanna keep it to the bare minimum. So I'm gonna give you just my recommendations for what to try. Are there gonna be other things that you, that other people might recommend it, might recommend for you? Yes, absolutely. It, are there other unique situations or there unique little twists on it? Yes, absolutely. There, you can do tons of research on podcasting equipment in order to find the exact perfect one for you. However, I think it can be a huge waste of time for most people. If you enjoy researching equipment and you're really into finding the exact right audio or the exact right equipment or trying out new, new pieces, awesome. But be sure to select an option to get started. I, can see, so, I see so many people who get bogged down by just selecting the equipment that they never actually get their podcast run, up and running, they never actually record. So we wanna make it really simple for you and uh, by the end of this, I just want you to choose an option and go. You know, you can change as you're going, you can upgrade, you can change directions down the road, but just choose one and get going. So I'm gonna actually break down uh, the equipment in a few different categories into kind of a little grid. So we're gonna talk about mobile. If you wanna be on the road and record a podcast, what does that look like? We're gonna talk about just recording audio. If you just wanna focus in there, we're gonna talk about what that looks like. If you wanna record a video podcast, we're gonna talk about some of the video equipment that you can get and use to actually help record your video podcast. And then we're also gonna break it down by price points. We're gonna talk about free or basically free options. Um, we're gonna talk about uh, the basic option and we're also gonna talk about a premium level option where you're gonna spend a little more money, but you're gonna get higher quality uh, generally when you spend more money. So let's dive on in and look at some of the different options here. 
I wanna start in the one that appeals to the most people watching this, and that is gonna be in the audio area, and we're gonna start with free. The best way to record free audio is going to be simply to grab this little guy right here, to grab uh, your iPhone or your smartphone, uh, there's the voice memos app like that's built into every single one of these. Uh, you can use that and that is actually gonna get you a relatively good sounding audio, especially if you have one of the newer models of the iPhone, the seven, the six, um, anything like that. You're gonna get a very good quality microphone just using the base microphone and recording it in the memos app. Uh, not gonna be, you know, obviously there are better ones out there, um, but that's gonna be a great way to get you started. If you don't have a, a smartphone of some sort, or you just simply want to record on the computer, I'm actually gonna lean you away from recording on the computer, because generally the computer's audio is not very good. Um, occasionally you'll find, a, a, and, and it just varies too much to really be able, for me to be able to really tell you that yes, the audio, the microphone on your computer is gonna sound good. If you're just recording directly in your computer without any sort of external microphone. Um, so I'm gonna lean you away from that option, but if you don't have a smartphone, uh, that is an option. Or another option would be to actually do like a freeconferencecall.com or freeconferencecallhd.com, one of those free conference call services. There are plenty out there. Um, I'll link up to a couple that I recommend in the worksheet that's provided with this, uh, with this video. Uh, so that, those are kind of your free options for audio. Next, we're gonna talk about your options uh, if you want the basic level of audio uh, within the audio category. And that, my biggest recommendation is the ATR 2100. Um, if you go check Amazon, uh, they usually have some great deals. Uh, the price point varies for this, but you, it's good, you're gonna find it under $100. Uh, this is the one I recommend because it is a dynamic microphone. It, it's, uh, it's gonna sound much better. It's a USB microphone, so it will, it's actually, it's a USB and a, a XLR cable. So if you are slowly stair-stepping and improving your equipment slowly, you're gonna have the option to not only just plug this directly into your computer, but to eventually plug it into a mixer board. We're gonna get a little bit higher quality sound from there. And then, uh, so it just, it, it, this is the microphone that's gonna be able to grow with you. So I highly recommend you check out the ATR2100 for uh, your basic level option. This is actually the microphone that when we get a brand new client, we uh, send them a package, a microphone, we take care of some of the equipment for them. This is the one we're sending them. Uh, in terms of audio quality, you're gonna get about a seven or eight out of 10 in the range of 10. Um, so it's a very good sounding microphone. There are you know, options above this, uh, but th this is gonna be something that for fairly affordable price, you're gonna get a great sounding podcast. All right, now let's talk premium level uh, audio equipment. So this is actually, our recommend, my recommendation for this is the Heil PR40, and you're gonna to wanna to get a full package uh, for this. This is gonna get you that nine to 10 in terms of audio quality. It's gonna be very uh, you know, radio quality, broadcast quality sound for your podcast. Um, so this right here is a Heil PR40. This is kind of the setup that it's gonna look like. You're gonna to wanna to have it on a boom arm, so you'll get a boom arm in the package. Uh, this is a little mic flag. I'll even include a link to that because uh, they're kind of cool. Uh, I actually have a brand new one coming today that I'm super excited about. Um, and then this is the microphone pop filter and then the little cage, that the shock mount that helps make sure that uh, even if you bump the table or happen to bump like the side of this, that the microphone doesn't move and so you don't get uh, that kind of sound in there. So, the like I said, in the package, you're gonna have your Heil PR40, this is the actual microphone, shotgun mic that you talk directly into uh, the top part here. Uh, you're gonna have the Behringer 802, that's the one I recommend if you're uh, kind of moving up. I actually have a different one here. Um, this is a great quality one. This is actually what I would recommend. If you're just you know maybe interviewing one other person or you're doing Skype interviews, this is all you need uh, and you'll save a lot of money that way too. Uh, so you're gonna have a bunch of cables. You're gonna also wanna get a uh, digital audio recorder of some sort. This is the Tascam DR40. This is the Tascam DR40. Um, another great option is the Roland uh, R-05. Uh, that's another great option. And you're gonna want, your, want to get 
your studio microphone or studio headset, excuse me. Uh, I like the Sony ones. Uh, again, those will all be linked up in that buying guide that is included along with this challenge video, with this video. And there you have it. That is the Heil package, the premium level of audio recording. All right, now let's talk about uh, if you want to record a video podcast, let's jump to the free option or the basically free option. And hopefully no surprise to any of you, uh, if you have one, I'm going to recommend using your smartphone or especially your iPhone, especially if you have one of the newest models, the 7. Uh, right here, this camera is actually an iPhone 7. It is phenomenal quality, as you can see. So I definitely recommend if, if you are looking for a way to start doing video podcasts, start recording through uh, your iPhone, through the iPhone 7 especially, if you have that. I, the video is continuing to improve there. Um, what you might wanna do, is, especially if you have some of the audio equipment and you're gonna just be recording it in your house, and you maybe have the ATR2100 or you have the HIO package, maybe what you wanna do is actually uh, set up your iPhone, just recording the video and record the audio through your uh, premium level audio mic. But really that's the option if you wanna do a video podcast for free or nearly free is to really use uh, the camera on, the video camera on your smartphone. All right, so if you want a video podcast and you want to kind of have that basic package, for that, I'm going to really recommend that you check out this little webcam right here. Um, it is a Logitech webcam. I'll have it linked up uh, in, the, in the buyer's guide, uh, again, to kind of give you an idea so you can find it directly on Amazon. Uh, this is going to be decent quality. So this is the video recorded from the webcam just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. So this is a great basic level option for you. You're actually going to, if you, especially if you have a newer iPhone, you're going to get a better quality image from there. But if you are looking to do Skype interviews or uh, something like that, that it would be the camera I'd actually recommend is you get yourself a nice uh, premium level camera uh, webcam and use that. One other upgrade I would do if you're looking to uh, do video interviews with people over um, like over who are not in the same location as you. If you're looking to do video uh, interviews over the computer, I would recommend upgrading from Skype and just doing the video that way to actually using Zoom. Uh, it's zoom.us. It's going to be about $10 a month. Uh, for their next level package. And I definitely recommend using that if you're gonna be doing a lot of video interviews and you want the call. I just found the call quality to be much better, especially when we're doing video interviews versus just audio interviews. For audio interviews, Skype works just perfectly. Uh, it has a great connection for audio only videos or for audio only interviews. But if you want to actually do video, check out Zoom. For premium level cameras, this is actually outside of what I normally talk about, outside of the scope, and, and uh, I'm going to recommend the one that I'm actually using, that's the one we're looking at right here. Uh, so I, you can see kind of what the quality looks like, um, but I'm going to actually, I'll link up to this one. It's a Canon SL1, uh, so it's a really nice camera, it's worked out really well for me. Um, but to be honest, if you are willing to jump up to that iPhone 7, or that iPhone 7 Plus, that does a great job. And I'm really looking at actually just switching to have the iPhone 7 as the main camera and having that one, uh, the DSLR one, as the secondary one, because usually I want to do multi-angle shots. So I'm definitely considering that, and that's something you want to might you want to maybe consider too. However, there are some even higher level cameras that you can go uh, and check out. And this is really beyond my scope. I will actually link you to uh, a guy that I really trust in terms of his video skills and what he recommends. Uh, it's over at DIYvideoguy.com. Uh, that's Caleb. He does a great job. He is, uh, I've talked to him several times. I've done interviews with him. So I'll link you up to his website and you can look at his reviews of cameras and camera equipment if you're really looking for that premium level. But realize that you're gonna be paying more for that premium level, but the quality is definitely there. 
And if you are using a camera, you're gonna wanna make sure you get great audio quality. So I actually would recommend you check out the Rode Filmmaker Kit. So if you go, that's actually what we're, I'm using right now. So you can kind of hear the audio quality. Basically, it's just a wireless microphone. Um, so you have a receiver and you have the transmitter. And so this is the transmitter right here. Oh, this is the transmitter right here. I probably messed up the audio a little bit at a point on the cables. Um, but yeah, that's the transmitter and then there's a receiver that uh, mounts directly on top of the camera and in and uh, puts a, basically replaces the on-camera on microphone. Rode just did a phenomenal job with this uh, wireless audio system. So I would definitely, this is where I would point you to. Like, I, I wouldn't mess around with it. I've had Audio-Technica ones in the past and I've had uh, uh, several other wireless microphones in the past and this is definitely the best, the easiest to set up, the easiest to get going and highest quality. So that's where I would point you. All right, and let's talk mobile podcasting. Now, this first one for the, the free or nearly free option might not necessarily surprise you, but we're gonna talk about your smartphone. Uh, this is a great way to record on the go. It's always with you. Uh, you can just pull it out of your pocket anywhere and do a great audio recording, uh, just like I said. Um, so this is definitely uh, an option to consider. Like if you just need to record a podcast quickly, if you wanna keep it uh, on top of your mind, go through different thoughts. This is a great, great option. Now, one way to actually step up your mobile podcasting is to actually grab the Rode Smart Lav Plus. So basically, this is just a lavalier microphone that clips in to your smartphone, uh, and they make make them for iPhones. Um, and then it just is a great, real high quality microphone, uh, like lavalier microphone. It's gonna actually do better job of, in terms of audio than just straight talking into your, straight talking into your iPhone or even into the headsets that come with the iPhone. Um, the microphones on there aren't great. So if you can take up and do that next level option, that, that works really well. Or uh, if, and in terms of another option to actually record, if you wanna actually like mix things um, within your podcast. So if you wanna bring in like audio questions from listeners that you have, or your theme music as you're going, a great app to really look at is Boss Jock. Uh, and this is a little setup that you can use if you have even your ATR 2100 uh, and just get a little adapter. You can actually link those up and uh, use them in uh, you know, to and use your iPad to podcast, things like that. It, it actually works out really well. Um, I've done that a lot here. Uh, it's been a few years since, I, since I've actually used this setup. It's been a, a little over a year and a half probably since I've last used this setup, but it works really well. And it's a great way to kind of mix on the fly so you have to do uh, less editing uh, afterwards. All right, and when we're talking premium quality, uh, if you're doing mobile recording for your podcast, I would really look at uh, using, uh, so I mentioned the Rode Filmmaker Kit uh, previously when we we're talking about recording videos. I will actually take this along a lot of times uh, and plug it right directly. You can get some adapters to plug directly into your iPhone. Uh, and then if you have a little uh, tripod, so you can use a tripod and a glyph to actually hold your iPhone and you could actually do, be doing video podcasting while you're on the road. I have definitely done this. Uh, if you can find great lighting, then it's phenomenal. Or Rode also makes another really great kind of shotgun microphone that you can plug right into your iPhone, especially, and that does great audio recording. Or we'll get, I'll give you one more option here for high quality mobile podcasting. And that is actually the Tascam DR40. This is a great, so it's a digital audio recorder. There's microphones right up top and you can set it so you can actually do if you're doing an interview with someone, you can set this down in between you and have the microphones pointed up at, at you. This is a great option if you're kind of looking for a higher quality, but very mobile, you know, it condenses, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of room. So this is something I would actually really consider if you know you need to do mobile recording, but don't want to try and mess with an iPhone or you want to do interviews mobily like this is just a great way to go is just to grab one of these and so there you have it that was kind of a quick rundown of all the different options uh, for mobile podcasting just for audio for video and then in the three price points and now it is really time for you to just 
pick one. Remember, I have the buyer's guide, uh, so all you have to do is grab that PDF and really go through that. It's kind of laid out to help you make your decision and then have links to everything you're gonna need to actually get those and to really get your equipment right away because I don't want you to procrastinate. Uh, I've seen so many podcasters or so many would-be podcasters uh, wait just simply because they got overwhelmed by all of the equipment. So hopefully I was able to narrow it down enough, give you enough options where you're able to pick for your right situation. But really my biggest thing to you is spend 30 minutes here, maybe a little longer if you absolutely need it, but for sure by the end of the day, pick your option, move forward. Uh, you can always make adjustments later. I would rather have you start with a more basic package like the ATR 2100, and then, then if you decide you really are committed to podcasting, you're up and running, and then you decide, hey, I want this to be a little bit better audio quality, then jump to the high alt package. You know, then jump to the next package, or maybe you wanna add video later on, but just pick something that you're comfortable starting with and go forward, go that direction. Well. I wanna hear from you, which package are you gonna actually be selecting? So head on over to the Facebook page and the Facebook post and just leave a comment letting us all know what package you selected. And you can also, if you do have any more equipment questions, feel free to leave those there uh, in that Facebook post and I'll be sure to answer as all of them as, as they come in. So that's a great way to really get a lot of input from the community as well because we have people who've tried multiple different options and maybe they've had a different experience than me and they'll maybe be able to tell you some of the things that you should look out for. So go. Uh, let us know what your options are or which package you're thinking of or considering and leave a comment in the Facebook group. We are almost ready to start recording. We're gonna be recording on day four, so ship, if you have your equipment picked out, ship them by Amazon next day if you can. Uh, get prime shipping so that they're here by day four possibly. Uh, and we're gonna be moving forward because tomorrow we're actually gonna be talking about how you can create uh, how you can really stand out from the crowd. And uh, this is gonna be an excellent one, one you're not gonna wanna miss because uh, more and more people are flooding into podcasting and we wanna make sure that you stand out, but more importantly that you stand out to the right set of audience, to the people who will be your ideal client and uh, who are going to you know, connect with your overall objective of having the podcast. That Remember what we talked about on day one, it's always gonna keep coming back to those founda that foundational piece so we wanna make sure you stand out to the right people and we're gonna talk how you can do that tomorrow on day three of the challenge. Uh, so go figure out what equipment you're getting and I will see you tomorrow in the Facebook group. And thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the podcast. Again, I just want to remind you, if you want to get all of the worksheets that go with each day of the challenge and actually go through the challenge in order, in the five-day order, simply head on over to podcastingchallenge.com and you can sign up for the challenge there and it'll be delivered over the next five days. So until next episode, it's time for you to go out there, take action, and maximize both your impact and your income.